Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are doing another KKW review because it was like back-to-back -back concealers and then now the collab with Mario. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of blue eyes all over the internet. Everyone is going crazy for that one blue eyeshadow in the palette. And I am curious to play with it myself. I have been very picky about that particular color and I feel like the only blue eyeshadow I've ever really loved that had that kind of vibrancy is one from ColourPop and then one from Pat McGrath. So I think I'm also going to try and swatch compare some shades that I have in my collection for you guys against this palette right here. But let's just dig in. I really love this whole gray type of A situation. I love it. I just am very I'm not mesmerized. What's the word? I just, I feel good feelings about this color. I really like it. It's very simple. I think this is such a perfect collab for Kim and Mario. It's very much her aesthetic, but then of course it has more of a masculine feel with the uh, gray packaging. I really like it. Here we have it. This is $45 and I'm curious to see how these shades blend, how soft they are. What I want to do is just go through the swatches first before putting all the colors on my eyes. I have no idea what type of a look I'm going to do. I know I of course want to use that blue, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't really wanna put it all over the lid. I keep seeing that and I don't think I'm gonna do that. So the top row, we have a shimmer. Next to it, we have this kind of bronzy gold. Dude, you guys, these are swatching really nicely. Why is this swatching so nice? Usually colors kind of skip. This is from MAC. That moment when KKW is swatching better than MAC eyeshadows. These are nice. I am really pleasantly surprised. So we're gonna continue on. You have a gold shade. I think for, you know, more olive deeper skin tones, this kind of a gold just looks so sexy and so beautiful. But for me, it kind of drowns me out a little bit. You get more of a matte taupe in here. Really beautiful cream shade. I think this is gonna be nice. Please be nice, please be nice. Yes. You have two shades that you can work with that are very neutral, that are gonna help you just to shape the eye. And then you have all of these fun shades that are going to add those extra kind of wow elements if you wanna take it a step further. Okay, so next to that, we have this kind of burnt, burnt shade. I don't know burnt what I was gonna say. Um, that's swatching so-so. We then have a purple that feels like a satin sheet. That's really nice. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the blue. Oh, F. Oh my God. Okay, wait. This blue in here, I was hoping would be like this, but this blue in here, let's just kind of side by side it really quick. So this is the Natasha Denona. It's just not as good. KKW and Mario, they, they did a really beautiful bright blue. That's a hard color to do. It usually ends up translating really kind of muddy and almost black with a little bit of navy in it. And it almost never translates this bright. Okay, so the last one on the bottom row is this very beautiful copper shade. And that's really pretty too. So those are just single like, psh, like single swatches. These are nice. I really am excited to try this out and see what kind of a look we can come up with. And then of course, I will be wearing it all day long and doing check-ins for you guys to see if it creases, if the color fades, if we have fallout or any other issues with this palette. I am gonna go in with the cream shade first. I know this has kind of been my thing, but I wanna see how I can use this almost in my everyday makeup type of a way. So I'm gonna go in and start packing this shade all over the lid. Holy pigmentation. So I'm doing more of a pressing motion toward the inner corner and then I'm kind of sweeping it out. Okay, I really like that. I am going to go in with Miami, shade right in the middle, and we are gonna use that as our transition. I'm gonna build it pretty slowly. I'm gonna start out on the outer edge and then just kind of fluff it up. These two colors are really great. Now, I have, of course, seen these two colors done before. This shade right here almost reminds me a little bit of Max Saddle. Maybe that's just in my head. I'd have to side-by-side side compare them. And then, of course, you know, this lighter cream shade. We've all seen a light cream shade like that done before. Uh, it's nothing that's like brand, brand new, but they do blend really well. The pigmentation is nice. And I like that you have at least two colors like this in a palette with some more wild colors. We're gonna go into 
this shade right here. This is the shade Loyalty. I'm gonna start on the outer edge, but a little bit further out, and then just kind of hug it right into the outer crease. I'm gonna take this itty bitty brush from Morphe. This is the E39, and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. 2008, I hope I'm doing that right. I always feel a little backwards when I'm reading off the back of the palette. And I'm gonna take this just right underneath the high point of my brow. I'm also gonna take this on the inner corner. This shade is definitely a little bit chunkier, so you are gonna have a little bit of glitter fluffing everywhere. I'm gonna do something kind of risky. I don't know, this might mess up the look, but I really just wanna try a few more shades in here. So I'm going to take that burnt orange shade and I am just going to almost pop it right on the edge of the darker shades on the outer corner. I'm gonna take the excess and run this on the lower lash line. This is gonna to look totally crazy until I have liner and lashes on, so bear with me, but I am gonna go into that bright blue and we are just going to pack this on the lower lash line. And that looks really weird, I know, I know. Gotta just like trust the process sometimes. Beautiful color, blues are such a pain to work with sometimes because if you blend it too much, it does get this weird kind of stain that isn't that attractive. So I'm gonna put on my lashes, my liner, and we will regroup. All right, you guys, I feel like I am ready for a night on the town and it is one o'clock in the afternoon in the middle of the week. I did intensify the blue by adding a little bit of glitter. I added the shade Gamma Ray from Urban Decay. This is one of their heavy metal glitters. Really pumped up the intensity on the inner corner and I love how this looks. We are back to feeling cosmetically mean and a little different than my normal everyday go-to makeup type of an attitude. I don't know, whenever I play with color, I just feel a little more bold and I love that about makeup. I love that it can bring out a different feeling within yourself just from playing with some colors on your eyes. We have a lipstick to try out. This is a $20 lipstick. This is the shade Classic K. This is a little warm toned. Not gonna lie, when I was seeing everybody's lip looks, I wasn't loving it the most. Uh, I tend to like a very peachy, bright nude, but we're gonna give this a try. What do you guys think? Is this too nude? Do we love it? 20 bucks? It's really creamy and opaque. I don't not like it. I just am more thrilled with the eyeshadow, I feel, than the lip stuff. So then we have a lip gloss. There are actually two of them, and they're 18 bucks. I really liked her original kind of glittery glosses. They had a really nice shine to them and I do really like those. All right, this is the shade Super Nude and I really like it. Blue eyeshadow can be so much fun, you guys. I really, really love this, even though it feels a little weird to be wearing this kind of makeup just like in the middle of the day. I'm gonna go do some laundry. So there we have it. I'm gonna go do my day. I will do some check-ins and we will see how this goes from there. What's up you guys? So I am going to zoom you guys in because I just royally screwed up my makeup so much. I'm so angry with myself. Um, I'm gonna just do like an extreme close-up where you can see some of the bleeding and whatnot from trying to fix my lash and do that with a brand new ink eyeliner. I should have just used my Smashbox one, but I gambled and I tried this guy out right here, the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. I've been loving Stila so much recently, but this liner just did not work. It didn't, so let me zoom. You can see some bleeding right in here. That is the stuff that I talk about a lot that drives me so insane. And then over here, it was just too wet where it just smeared everywhere. So I'm gonna have to kind of touch up my makeup. Aside from me messing up my own makeup, like I'm the one that screwed it up, I do have to say I wouldn't have touched up the shadow. It's wearing really well. This has been on for about five hours. I haven't had any creasing. The blue is still extremely vibrant and I was actually fixing my lashes and liner because I was gonna take an Instagram picture. And then I went and screwed it all up. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at. I will continue to do check-ins. So far, so good on the palette. The lip products are pretty good. I mean, I don't know if they're worth 18, 20 bucks, but they're pretty good. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, we are at the point where I am ready to wash my face, take off the makeup, take off the falsies, remove the blue. I'm a little bit worried that it is gonna stain just a tiny bit. I'm gonna go ahead and say that I really love this palette. I definitely will be reaching for it again. I am shocked 
I am like very shocked actually. I'm gonna say something that I think is not. I really feel like Kim's formula is different than Kylie's. It is much more creamy and smooth. I think it's a lot better. That's just me. I don't know. I haven't tried a ton of Kylie's palettes. I have loved some of her lip stuff in the past. I, of course, have loved some of her palettes. I've done videos here where I've purchased and done the whole swatching and, you know, tried them. And I use them for a little bit and then I kind of move on. And what I have to say about the Kim and Mario palette is it has a lot of useful elements that I feel I would reach for on a daily basis. But I did want to give you guys some options before I kind of signed off of this video. So I have my arm all swatched up with blues. Just so much beauty right here, right? I'm just like all about it. I love the blues. So right here we have the KKW. This is more of a royal purple blue and this is what is in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Then we have right here the ColourPop blue that I was telling you guys about. It is called Too Shy and this is a gorgeous, gorgeous blue. I really, really love it. It is glittery though, so keep that in mind. Right here we have one from JCAT. This is a cream and it again is more of a navy purple type of a vibe and it does have some kind of a glitter in there. Then we have right here one from L'Oreal, which now compared to everything else, I'm kind of like, get out of here. You're too boring. I don't like it. Once upon a time, I think I did like you, but you're out of here. Right here, holy smokes, this is from Huda Beauty. I actually put this all over my lid in a Huda Beauty Hot or Not video. I'll link that below as well. It's this color right here. It has more of a violet purple undertone than straight royal blue. And then we have right here, Maybelline. Again, I'm like, ooh. Now that I see that I have so many other options that I like better, I am gonna get rid of that one. Okay, then down here, the blue of our wildest dreams. This is the Pat McGrath blue. Not everybody wants to spend over $100 on a palette, but I did have to show you guys that blue. Dang, I mean, oh, I love this. I do have to say, I actually don't reach for this palette enough. I think the quality is really great, but these colors right here, I don't know. I just, I find that I need more. I need a color like this creamy shade to go everywhere all over. I need a few more warmer shades to work into the crease. And because of that, I only really reach for this palette for these brighter kind of show-stopping type shades and it just doesn't get enough use out of it because of that. I thought I would share with you guys a few options as far as blues are concerned, drugstore and more high-end. And uh, the final thing that we have to do is try on the other lip gloss. Ooh, makeup. She's gone and lost her mind. Okay, I need to take a shower and scrub this off and scrub this off and call it a day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, you guys. This is a solid collab. I do really enjoy it and it gets a thumbs up from me. So if you already have colors like this, you don't have to have this palette. If you wanna support this collab, it's not crap. The product blends really beautifully. Um, but you know, you have some other options for some bright blues. If that was the one shade that you were after in this palette, I thought I would offer that to you. I don't have anything else to say. So I'm gonna wish you guys a good one. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.